It was 2 o'clock in the morning on Monday when his daughter called him in panic from the Ukrainian border as she was trying to escape the chaos in the country which is at war with Russia. The daughter, who is a medical student in her final year, was to write an exam in May this year before writing her finals. Her studies, as well as those of many other Namibians, are now ruined, with the possibility of them resuming their studies in Ukraine, zero. Students are now scattered in different neighboring countries of Ukraine, such as Poland, Hungary and Romania. And what's of great concern is the harsh and unfair treatment some African students had to endure as they tried crossing the border. Demper's daughter also had a terrifying experience at the Ukraine side of the border and also almost decided to return to Ukraine, where the safety situation is turning worse by the day. Demper says it will be a great loss for both the students, families and government for them to return home without completing their studies. Come back home to do what? What if the war continues? What are the options? What are the scenarios? How, what, what supporting mechanisms can we, can we develop? I know about some of the single mothers that are supporting and sustaining their children. And they are now in their fourth year, fifth year, some in their final years of studies. It will be a waste of investment if they have to only return all these 100 plus students to be able to again join the forces of unemployment in, in Namibia. Therefore, I believe that we should have um, scenarios that we as a country, as parents and government, need to work together to be able to look at what are the opportunities, what options do we have. Dempers called on parents to unite and support the children, as well as encourage the government to explore options to assist students who are not only stuck in the war zone, but also those who have fled to other countries. The Minister of International Relations, Netumbo Nadindeitwa, told the National Assembly yesterday that 63 students from the 93 are out of Ukraine and the government will buy them tickets to get home. Siamantikwa. NBC News, Ventuk.